Hey, hey, it's going be Christmas. I'm so excited. I love Christmas and I love surprises. And last year, someone gave me a great surprise as a gift. It's a book about rockets. Look, a book about rockets. What? What? They're the wrong way up. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, my book about rockets. How amazing is that? I love rockets. I had another gift as well. And this is a magic hat. I know it looks like a Christmas hat, but it's actually a magic hat. It's a right way up hat. It turns everything the right way up. Let me show you. If I turn this book upside down, look, it's now the right way up. My rockets are the right way up. How about if I do it this way? They're still the right way up. How amazing is that? My right way up hat. Actually, that reminds me. There's someone very special, and he's called Jesus. And he was born in Bethlehem. And we celebrate his birth, his birthday, on Christmas Day. And he came to turn the world the right way up. Because because before Jesus came, the world was upside down. And people weren't behaving properly to one another. And they weren't knowing God the way they should. And when Jesus came, he turned the world the right way up. And he taught us how to love one another. And how to love and talk to God. Isn't that amazing? Now I want you to meet someone. A special friend of mine. His name is Cody. Say hello Cody. Hello Cody. Not hello Cody, just say hello. There's no one there. I know there's no one there. There's a camera, but they can see us on the other side. Like TV? Yes, like TV. I'm a star. Yes, you're a star. Now what do you like about Christmas Cody? Christmas trees. Christmas trees, what, like the one behind me? Do you know you can find out a lot about Christmas from a Christmas tree and what the story of Christmas is all about? Should we see? Right, let's get some tinsel. Now, a lot of us use tinsel on the Christmas tree. Now, this tinsel glitters. And the angels glittered, didn't they, in glory to find the shepherds. And they told the shepherds where to find Jesus. So the tinsel can remind us about the angels coming to the shepherds. Can I wear it? Yes, you can wear the tinsel. There we go. How was that? Next, we have a ball ball. Now the ball ball is round like the world. And it reminds us that God's created the world. He created the world in the very beginning and created everything on it. It also has no beginning and no end. And that reminds us that God's love is endless. And one day we will be with him to live in eternity in heaven. That's exciting, isn't it? Next, we have a star. And the star reminds us of the star that guided the kings to find Jesus. The kings, the three wise men, travelled from a very big distance. A very long way to find the star and the star hung over Bethlehem to show them where Jesus was. Now next we have lights. Now we have lights in our crow tree don't we? Now this light also can remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and when he come to turn the world the right way up his light shines in the world to help us and guide us and those that believe in Jesus his light lives inside them. Now, Cody, can you remember something else about a Christmas tree? Maybe something that's under the Christmas tree. Presents. Yes, presents. Now, here's a present, but the presents can remind us of something else. Actually, two things. The presents remind us of the three gifts that the wise men give to Jesus. Can you remember what those three gifts are, Cody? Gold, that's right, very good. So gold is one of the gifts that the king gave Jesus. Can you remember another one, Cody? Uh, it's a hard one, think hard. Myrrh. Yes, myrrh, that's right. Myrrh is another gift that the kings give Jesus. And now can you remember the third gift? Frankenstein. 
No, not Frankenstein, it's Frankincense, but very good, Cody. Good try. But the present also reminds us of one other thing. The present reminds us of the gift from God, Jesus. Jesus was the gift of God that God gave us to turn the world the right way up. Now, what else do you like, Cody, about Christmas? Mince pies. Mince pies, yes, I love mince pies too. Well, I think it's time to have a mince pie, don't you? Should we wish everyone a Merry Christmas? Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. everyone.